Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to White Not Mackay. It's Wednesday, it's not Friday. But it's me that's on duty today. Sorry we had no blogs the last two days, but you know, couldn't be in two places at once. But anyway, here we are. And today I thought we'd talk about superstitions. Now, I've been going around the newsroom and I've been asking everyone if they have superstitions, particularly superstitions before you go on air. Now, some have been brave enough to share them with me. We'll chat to everyone in just a moment. Some pretend they don't have any superstitions. I think we all have a few. It's not Friday the 13th. It's not Halloween, but hey, no time like the present, is there, Sean? Ha <laughs> ha. In, in my time of relaxation in the makeup room, the only place I get a bit of relief. <laughs> what actually goes on here? Because you see, I never. <laughs> no, let's oh dear. <laughs> Look at me. There you go. I got quite a good job at this. Oh dear, that's purple. I shouldn't really have done that, should I? Right. <laughs> nice. Is it? <laughs> we'll have that removed before we go on air. Right. <laughs> Your superstitions. Mm, I'm actually a really superstitious person um, at home. I used to uh, never like leave the house on Friday the 13th if I wasn't working. I'm uh, quite a superstitious person. But when uh, I'm at work, I wouldn't say there's really any superstitions I have before I go into the studio, but uh, I do always pour myself some water and it has to go into a highball glass. Um, I won't drink out of a bottle in the studio and I don't know why, I just feel that I can uh, perform a bit better if it's in a glass. You've also got good manners because you shouldn't really drink out of a bottle full stop, should you? You shouldn't really drink out of a And a boy from Paisley should really know that. <laughs> Another thing, I suppose, uh, I used to take my shoes off before I went into the studio um, and I would actually present the weather without my shoes on. Um, why? I don't know. Again, it's what today. I've got them on at the moment, but I might take them off in a wee while um, when I get into the studio. But again, it's another one of those things that makes me feel more comfortable when I'm in the studio um, to actually do the weather without my shoes off. Maybe it's just as well that you do the weather without anyone else in the studio, <laughs> considering you take your oh. shoes off. My my socks, I tell you, when I take them off at night, they still smell of um, the lovely comfort uh, fabric conditioner I put on. OK, Sean mentioned that he takes his shoes off. I think there's something of a shoe fetish going on here. Because a wee bird tells me, you take your shoes off before you go into studio. I do, because I wear heels most of the time, so I do my own auto cue and I don't like to do my auto cue with a heel, so I take my shoes off. Now, is that for practical purposes or are you telling me that it's actually a wee bit of a superstition now? It's a wee bit of both, because when I first started news reading, that's the first thing I did and I've done it ever since. Anything else? Um, I used to use a silver pen, every bulletin I read, but I lost it when I was out reporting at Faz Lane. So this is my substitute oh, oh, at the minute. It's this quite is a small. Pink pen, then. That's it. Superstitions. Right, before going to the studio, you know what it's like when, you, when you're standing up to do the opt, you've got to have a microphone pack on. And I have this absolute fear and dread of the microphone pack falling off my dress or something like that. So I need, I constantly have, a, look, in this bag, which this is my essentials that go into the studio, I have a skirt that just in case the microphone pack doesn't sit on the outfit I'm wearing and it's like three minutes to and I need to get changed in the side. The Girls studio. normally have emergency knickers. You've got an emergency skirt. And a belt just in case the pack breaks and I, I need to ram it into a belt or something. What else have I got? just got everything that I could possibly need and every place I've ever worked they've said to me why do you need to lug this in because it shows up in shots sometimes if you're not careful it's so big but it's just got to be and why do you think we do it is this just a wee kind of routine caught out once and once is all it takes to then know that you need everything do you know what I've even got beta blockers in case a big story breaks that goes back to 24 hour breaking news doesn't it you know we saw Queen mum dies again when you're on shift. <laughs> You've got to be prepared for these things. Do you know that she had... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right, okay. there, All right, so... <laughs> really? We're not to talk about that one day. All right, Rachel. Everything in that bag. Now you know. And listen, that's not even her handbag. There's her handbag. Crikey. My superstitions. We should really go through to the studio for this, right? No one's listening. Me... I never throw away my scripts until the end of the day. Don't ask me why, but if I read the 11, all those scripts go back onto my desk. And then I read the 2 o'clock, they sit on top of the 11. Then I read the 6 o'clock, they sit on top of the 2, which was on top of the 11. So by this point, when we have a book of scripts, and then I take them to the recycle bin, because my hunch is, more often than not, you need to refer back to scripts that ran earlier in the day. So it's a pain in the neck having to go and find someone else's script, but also it's a bit like wishing your life away. And the other thing I do when I walk into the studio, 
I always go and sit down approaching from the left hand side. I just couldn't do it from the right. I just I couldn't do it. And if I was forced to do it from the right, I would be so upset I wouldn't be able to read the news. And I think that's it. You've got a clear picture that I'm a complete lunatic. Fraser, have you got any? Not that I know of. I'll prize them out of them. And we'll tell you another time. That was the blog. Hope you've enjoyed it. There will be one tomorrow. You thought there wouldn't, but there will, if I can think of something. Doodly pip. <laughs>